Good afternoon, everybody. I want to thank you all for coming out here today. Man, any day you can come off the track after a build like that and, and get the win, I'll take it, right? We'll take it. Uh, it wasn't perfect, but we have a lot of film to review. We've got a lot of things that we can work on in the off season. Uh, our analysts really have their jobs cut out for them, but they're the best in the business, so I have full confidence in them. But it's a big win. We're grateful for that. Uh, I want to start off just by thanking our sponsors. You guys, working with you guys is one of the best parts of the job. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, you're you know, down in the trenches with us when we're building these sections and you know, doing the mixed designs. You guys are right there with us, and we appreciate that. We appreciate that support because uh, we couldn't do what we do without you guys. So thanks a lot for that. Uh, to our uh, material suppliers and equipment vendors, uh, these test sections don't build themselves. And we couldn't do it without your generous donations, not just donating material or equipment, but also your own time. And we want to thank you for that. I, I preach to my team, right? Relationships, accountability, dependability. You call me, I'll be there. Uh, well, I called on you guys and you were there. And I just want to tell you thank you. Absolutely, you guys were incredible. Um, our contractor, man, how much time do we have, right? Uh, East Alabama Paving, you guys were awesome to work with. Um, you definitely didn't skip leg day, I'll tell you that, right? Uh, the reason we're able to do what we do here at, at the NCAT Test Track is practice, practice, practice. And you guys were up for the job. You could tell you guys had put the reps in. Y'all knew what to do. Y'all were ready. Um, it's always good whenever I can make a phone call and say, hey, I need it done this way. And we're so in sync with one another that it just gets done at such a high level. So I'm really grateful for, to uh, East Alabama contract, uh, Paving as our contractor. Finally, to the NCAT team, right? Man, what a team. Uh, from our mixed designers to our uh, lab and field engineers, uh, our PIs, our drivers, our technicians, our undergraduate students, a special shout out to you guys. These samples also don't make themselves, right? You guys put in so much work and I just wanna, wanna specifically highlight you guys. Thanks a lot for all you do. Um, so at this point, uh, I'd like to open up the room to questions. Hi Nathan, you're fairly new to this position. Can you speak a little bit to what you learned from this experience? Yeah, um, this was my first test track build in this role for sure. And there was some I was prepared for and there was there were certainly some challenges. But I would say the biggest lesson I learned is just the value of having a good team, right? It, it, you know, I'm the one up here today, but there's an army of people behind me who really uh, paved the way for me to be here in this chair and we can talk about the win, right? So like the list of people I just mentioned, everyone had their role, everyone had their strengths, right? So if there's, whenever I come up on something where I'm, I'm weak in that area, I know I can call my team and they can, they'll can they come through for me. That's definitely the probably the biggest lesson learned is, man, we have a great team here and it's a pleasure working with them. Next question. Hey Nathan, we all, we all know there's 46 sections out there on the track, plus you're doing some work on the off-ramp, but uh, how, many, how many sections did you reconstruct during this cycle? Yeah, yeah, uh, so we reconstructed 19 sections. Uh, some of them only had just a kind of a simple mill, mill and inlay Others were multiple sections all the way down to the base. Um, but yeah, it's always unique, right? Because you come in one day and you're working with materials from one state, and then the next day you're working materials a thousand miles away. So that's a, that's a big challenge, but uh, we did it. So next question. Hey, Nathan. Thanks so much for coming out today. Tell us, what are some of the key areas of focus this test cycle? Yeah, you know, that's kind of like asking me who my favorite kid is, right? Um, but I'd say a, a big overarching theme was sustainability, right? Um, whether it's you know from reduced emissions at the plant to you know special additives to just long-term you know improved performance, uh, sustainability is key. Uh, in, in an area kind of near and dear to my own heart, with you know friction and surface properties and texture, uh, we have a handful of sections where that that's kind of the highlight. Whether it's um, you know looking at texture and mix design, or whether it's looking at adding high friction aggregates into, into mixes or longitudinal grooving. I'm really excited about that. Uh, we're really continuing some of the work that we did from you know, the, the previous track build, um, looking at additives. So, you know, different rubber uh, additives and then also uh, some more engineered additives, which we're really excited about. 
I, but, and also, for, for, as a first for me, there was one particular section we went six feet in the ground and started you know, bringing in, you know, hauling in material and clay to do soil stabilization with some special enzyme treatment. So you know, I could talk forever about this. I don't want to, you know, we only have so much time, so let's go ahead and go to the next question. All right, Nathan, how important was the tack coat application during this construction? Oh my goodness. You know, tack, tack coat application is one of those things where it's kind of the unsung hero, right? It's, it, you know, the, the tack is not the thing that's getting all the praise. It's not the thing that's getting to celebrate at the end, but it's one of the things where if it's not done right, the whole team suffers. And it's absolutely the case here where we have test sections where, you know, bond strength is really nothing to do with the primary objective of the study, and it's so devastating whenever poor tack uh, is the reason for failure. So we paid a lot of close attention to that, um, and again, shout out to EAP, our contractor, for making sure that we had the best, the absolute best in the business at, at tack truck drivers, and so we're really grateful for that. Hey Nathan, we can't help but notice you seem to be done fairly early this construction cycle. What do you attribute that to? Yeah, I, I wish I could take credit for that, to be honest with you. Uh, but we had a pretty dry construction season. So, you know, in seven weeks of paving, we were only rained out twice. And both of those were because of tropical storms or hurricanes. And thankfully, by God's grace, right, they came on Fridays, so we got extended weekends. Um, but, no, I, I, I would say the weather, honestly, not not having a lot of inclement weather. But then also, again, having such a great team, professional staff. When we had a paving window, I really feel like we maximized the amount of time that we had and we worked pretty efficiently. Hey Nathan, uh, in the world of NIL, did you experience any kind of difficulties or challenges during this construction cycle? You know what, for the most part, I think our whole team was bought in. You know, that, that, that is the big thing these days. It's, it's, it's part of the job, right? Uh, for the most part, everyone realized, look, this is a team effort, and, you know, we can kind of deal with those. I, I did have, a, have to pull Travis aside a couple of times and be like, you know, I know, I, I understand what you're asking. I understand that you really value your team, but I need you to kind of be focused on, on what the, the task at hand, and we can address those questions later. Um, at this point, you know, I'm not going to take any more questions, but I do want to thank you for coming out. Uh, we'll see you in three years, and War Eagle.